1967 TWA flight number 128, a poem based on real events. The Hales became my neighbors as a child around 1970 in Northern California. I'm finishing the thoughts of the words spoken by Eileen at two and a half years old upon being found buried in plane wreckage, losing her parents. I remained acquainted with her and Chris over the years Search online to learn more about Kentucky's worst aviation disaster in history. Daddy, I need my blanket. My arm is broken and my legs burned real bad. We were up high now, smokes in my eyes. I need Michael to stand up against the devil where we've all been had. He needs to bring the tree of life like the baby girl found in a tree, miraculously, who was on the same plane as me, even younger than me. Michael should put out the fire and get us back to the garden, build upon the cross and everything Jesus started. We don't need planes that shine and still crash on the ground. I'd rather have my parents, only 12 of 82 were found. It's the end when two-year-olds resemble soldiers in a war, with the Holy Spirit, they carry on life in an uproar. I'm glad the nurses cared more about us than money. I needed more attention than my brother. None of this was funny. We just need Michael to strike. He'll make everything all right. I know the whole world's fallen when my own parents die. In planes that should fly, can't say why I'm alive. All of us seated in row 17, and the rest I don't know. And I don't care that the man stepped on me. It was an accident. That's how he found me, the plains torn in an apple orchard. A lesson in there somewhere, something being weighed, why the flight was delayed. Didn't God know it was about to snow? Why me, I'd ask later, but Daddy, now I need my blanket. And I think God knows the whole world needs a covering. God bless everyone. Amen.